All right, uh, that was the first video. And the second video, we will talk about how we change the different style of these cells. And uh, we'll show you how we populate this from a, a better example, like an array, instead of uh, saying hello every time. So let's start with the storyboard. If you take a look at the cell, and then right now it was subtitle, and this was, uh, it was here we had, uh, disclosure was none. This is what we had, right? Now what if you want to change the style of this? To change the style of this, what you can do, you can say here, you can say in the, in the, the title, you can say, for example, basic. Basic only would show you the title and the image, okay? What about if you want to show the, the, those accessories here? You can say, for example, disclosure, okay, disclosure indicator. So now if I click on run, you'll see that disclosure indicator here. So when you click on it, you're expected to do something, right? There is another part in here when you say selection. For example, you can say if you want to select this, when you click on it, you get the gray color. For example, when you click this, Click on it, now you got the gray color. If you don't want any selection, so what you do is that you say none. And if you click on play, and then you click on it, none. All right, there's no selection. Okay, so let's go ahead and customize this so we show actually data, some meaningful data. So we go back to the Swift class, and the way it works, usually, we will use the row, remember we have an index.row, and we usually have a data store, some, some sort of a list. It could be an array, a dictionary, anything that you have in form of a list. Now this list contains usually objects. Now you can, the object can be a class with multiple values, or it could be just a simple array with string values. Now, what I'm going to do in this example, I'll show you just the simple way first. We'll do just like an array with simple, uh, with simple list. The other one, in the, in the next videos, I'll show you how we actually have custom classes and then we have actual example of how we populate the information from that class. So we'll start with this. So we can say, I'm gonna say let, or oh, let's make it uh, var store, list equal and then I'm gonna create an array of stores okay store one okay and then I'm gonna say it could be names whatever names you want and then he say store two okay and then I'm just gonna copy these two guys Command copy, so I don't have to type it again. So we'll have only six stores. So instead of this, store three, store four, five, and then six. Now, this array has six elements. Remember, the array always start with zero elements. So this is zero, one, two, three, four, five. So I have uh, six elements but I start with zero which is good because remember the row start with zero okay now I don't the number of sections stays the same but how about the number of rows well the number of rows depends on how many elements you have in the array so I have only six instead of 15 I should say 15 or, or six but well what about if you have 20, 30, so it should be dependent on how many elements you have in the, in the array. So the way you do it, you say store list dot count. Okay. And that way it give you, if you have 10, it will have 10. If you have 20, you'll have 20. Okay. And how about this label thing? The label thing, now, we don't have this part. We don't hard code it anymore. What I wanted to do is that I want to get it from the array. So what do I do? I say cell dot, uh, the, what is it, text, label dot text equal to, now, 
because it's an array, we say list, uh, list store list. Then here we use the index, the row, index pass that row as my index to the array. So what I'll do is I copy this, put it in here. But this give you an object. The object, the, the, it, it doesn't know what type of object you have in the array. So what we have to do, we have to cast it as a string. So it knows that it's a string. So we can put it in that text. Now what will happen? If we do this, I got store one, store two, and store three, but I didn't put the details, right? And notice here you have uh, six element only instead of the 15 that we specified before, okay? If you have, if you add more stores in the list, if we say this is a cool store, cool store for example, so what will happen now? All you have to do is change this. The rest will stay the same. So if you go in here, it will say cool store. And the last one is say cool store. You got that? And, and the other part, uh, if we go back to the storyboard, the la we have the basic right now. Usually you have more than that. And then you'll, you say in the table cell, what we're going to do instead of basic we're going to do the details subtitles okay so it would look like this all right and i have the the, the detail the detail <laughs> i will fix that and i'm going to make this a uh, short video and we will do we will cover uh in the next video we'll cover how do we make uh, this as a class instead of just single value. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.